Today I'm going to show you how to get extra storage space on your Google Chromecast because this is one of the Achilles heel of this great new device but we're going to need some accessories here and one of them is this hub from Anchor which is actually called a 7-in-1 USB hub and it's intended for other uses but this is what we're going to use for it here. What it gives us is not only a couple of accessory ports and you can see the USB ports on there but it also gives us the ability to connect things like our Chromecast directly to it and power it by it. You can see that PD input sitting right there. That's actually our power input and this cable eventually is going to go into our Chromecast and we're going to replace a lot of other components. Now the other piece we need is a power port and you do need this to be a little higher wattage. You could probably get away with a 48 watt if you wanted to go a little bit lower but you see I'm using one with one port that it's powering everything here and so I wanted it to be fairly strong as far as power supplies go. Now you take your USB-C to USB-C cable that is rated to carry this wattage that we're about to connect it to and we plug it into our power cube. Now we have the anchor hub powered and then we're going to take the existing USB-C cable and plug it into our current Chromecast. And what you're probably noticing is I'm not using the existing adapter for our Chromecast and that's because this is not actually really rated to handle all of it and it doesn't have the right connections, especially when you look at this Google Chromecast adapter at 7.5 watts. Now that you have that all connected, you're going to take your Chromecast and plug it into the back of your TV exactly as I showed you wired here to the hub. Then you're going to take a micro SD card reader or an SD card reader and plug it into one of those two USB ports and you can see I have 32 gigabytes of space. You could also use a jump drive. This one's just an 8 gigabytes but what comes up right away is a request to actually format or erase and format the device for storage or for use with the Google Chromecast. And once you've formatted the device and it's ready to go, what you're going to be asked is if you want to move all of the data and applications across to it. Now you don't have to do that right away, but you can do it later and you can get back to this spot in the menu. Now what's great with this whole setup is that you can do so much more. So check out our hidden tips and tricks with the Google Chromecast. It will include a number of other peripherals that you can use with this and gain a lot out of. So check that video out. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And of course, don't hate, automate.